Well, I can't believe we're here again. Um, thank you for this acknowledgement. We don't do paper, so I'm looking at my computer instead of notes. <laughs> I just have to hit, let's see, forward, there we go. Thank you for this acknowledgement of our past work, but tonight I'd like to tell you how excited I am about what's to come. And for the editors and reporters in the room, are you, there any here? <laughs> uh, you're free to write or assign this next story because we think it's a big one. I'm thrilled to receive this award, but also to announce the launch of a new national news organization. It seems we've entered an unprecedented time in Canada. 2,000 journalists have lost their jobs since 2012 in this country, and there's a similar story south of the border, according to the Canadian Association of Journalists. Media is smaller and more syndicated with less original journalism happening by the year. A former BBC journalist described it to me last weekend as a total collapse of journalism in Canada. We've seen tonight that's not totally true, but energy projects have ever been larger or more controversial. There are massive pipelines proposed, more than a dozen LNG terminals, doubling of the oil sands or the tar sands, even the name is polarizing. This is happening at a time in which every summer is hotter than the hottest summer in the last 20 years, and democracies are not responding fast enough. Citizen opposition to energy projects has never been greater. A Bloomberg Nanos poll found that seven out of 10 British Columbians want an Enbridge pipeline stopped or delayed. And similar opposition is found in Ontario, Quebec, and the Maritimes over the gigantic continent wrapping Energy East pipeline, the largest proposed oil pipeline in Canadian history. Yet new laws restricting citizen participation will mean deeply unpopular energy projects will get their approvals. Where is all this headed? That's a question that needs to be answered every day by hard-hitting reporting. And there just aren't enough of us. That is why we are la launching a new newspaper, The National Observer, whose focus will be on energy politics. Our approach is to build an entirely digital platform with community participation, and our operation will spread from Vancouver to Toronto to the Maritimes, not to forget Ottawa, led by our Ottawa correspondent, Matt Miller, who's here with me tonight. We hope to create an organization which, in the words of the late, great journalist David Halberstam, will be a fearless voice of the people. Thank you so much. Tonight's a great reminder of why we look around the room and go to work every day and do the hard, sometimes isolating, difficult work that we do. This is an exciting time for media. It's exciting to be here. Nous remercions la Fondation. Remercions notre collègue et vous. Bonsoir.